Hey everyone, how you all doing? Today I'm actually installing ambient lighting on this Audi A5 and what can I say, it's a beautiful example, white with the black interior and um, the reason why I'm doing another video on this is because in the last video I noticed a lot of people commenting saying, oh you know, you, it wasn't as thorough as my normal videos showing exactly how to remove everything. Along with that, the design of it, uh, this one's gonna be a slightly different design. So I thought I'd take you all along and show you all in a bit more in-depth point of view of how to do the ambient light install on the Audi A5 Coupe. So without further ado, let's jump into looking around the car. So there are a couple of things that I need to be careful with with regards to doing the install on this car, which is it's got black piano trim, which is just these pieces over here and over there and stuff. So it's one of those where it's one of those where I have to be very careful with it, and probably most careful with it is going to be on the center console, working in that area just there. It's a pretty tight area as it is and yeah it's it's not going to be the most fun is what i'm going to say so i am probably going to spend a little bit of time figuring out how to dismantle everything in the most safest way without damaging anything so I'll probably end up having to use some tape or stuff like that to uh make sure i don't cause any issues so yeah should be fun got a really nice glow over here of the audi logo but right so to get access to this trim. Now this door has already had this trim removed and from what I can see, it's been an interesting job. So yeah, there's quite a lot of scuffs and stuff on the other side, but we just gotta pop it off, taking it all the way along. That came off nice and smoothly. So gotta keep these in a nice safe space away from any possible way of them getting scratched up. This one's got a little bit of like residue or some glue up here. Yeah, that's just come off, but it's got a couple of scratches as well. As you guys saw, just pop it off and it will basically come out nice and smooth. From here, we've got a few screws. So uh, there's one T30, I believe, just in here. Oh no, I think it was a T27 or a T25, so let me just change that over. We've got one T25 just over here. Take that out. We've got a couple of screws, just one in here, and one just over here. We've got the one screw just at the bottom, just over in the middle. So those are the easy screws removed. Now, the next one that we need to get access to is behind this trim piece so just need to uh prise it away it's never as fun as you wish it was take that off clip just here we need to undo from this car has been broken that's not fun so let me go get another tool to remove that sadly the owner of the car um, he went to Paris and the car got broken into so they smashed this window but Yeah, that's that trim piece off We've got one final screw just over in here and then we've got everything off that needs to come off So start from a corner ideally person put that one on right but there we go and you've got just the one clip here the door handle part to remove and then you got the whole thing off so everyone with the other side door card also now off it's time to jump into the back of the car taking apart the rear seat so this part is really difficult I remember this being super difficult to take off on the last one that I did. So unnecessarily hard. Ever would need to push it down so hard, you know, your body weight's normally on it, it's already 
stuck down quite hard as it is, but it's going to be the fun part. Whew. Literally had to get the whole body into that. these four guys off you it's a lot of weird stuff underneath there I don't even know what to say but I'm gonna get some tissue or gloves or something to get rid of that because I don't want to be touching that dirt <laughs> that's disgusting so here's the thing now right guys so if you fold over the seats you'll get access to this point here now in there it's going to be this bracket held in by this screw uh you've got to undo that that's a t30 and then you'll be able to wiggle this off if you just like lift up one of the seats so now you can lift it out it's really awkward to get it out of the other side so you gotta you gotta basically maneuver this guy off from the other section which is not fun especially because this car's a coupe not a convertible you gotta always have your back bent over and these seats even if you slide it forward it just slides back which i don't get why but i'm gonna spend a little bit of time just doing that off camera get those seats off because having you guys on my head is not very fun because it just adds extra headroom that i have to be careful of so i'll catch up with you guys all shortly so after doing a little bit of cleaning up in here getting rid of some of the junk we can get on with reinstalling some of this so uh, sorry we can get on with removing some of this so uh, i want to look at removing this trim piece actually no, i'll do that whilst the car whilst i got it all off so I think if I remember correctly actually I have to remove this guy let's start with grabbing over here right it's such a weird setup over here because you gotta kind of move this out to get that out but they're both also stuck in it's just really not fun remove this 17 which normally i would have done with my impact gun but i don't have that on me at the moment but it's all right we shall persevere with this guy good old breaker bar to crack it loose once it's cracked loose it's pretty easy to just yeah, we can just take this bolt off, move this guy out of the way because it will need to come through this hole in a short moment. This is what I mean about it not being fun to work in such a tight area. It doesn't make sense why Audi made it this way. So much harder than it needs to be. Ah, I just remembered actually. What you have to do is you have to remove this whole trim piece. Again, I think this car was just so overcomplicatedly designed. One eternity later. So along with everything else I'm doing for the ambient lighting, I'm also going to replace this panel just here because as you can see, it's got a little bit of damage here. Um, the owner took the car to Paris and someone tried to break into it smashed all this window and stuff so gonna look at replacing that so we need to undo the bolt at the bottom here so it's got a little plastic cover on it and we've got a couple of bolts i think just under here they look like t30s it's gonna be a little bit fiddly but hopefully it won't take too much time so following on from the last time i actually did this install um last time we did a hole just over here but this time I'm actually doing it just at the top right there in that gap and the door handle i've removed all the screws i've drilled that hole in there that's where the door handle hole um, light is going to be and the rest i'm basically going to do pretty similar to how i did it before so the fiber optics just going to be coming through fiber optics is going to basically go underneath this whole trim here down and out 
and then I'll have it all set up. So let me set that all up now and then I'll show you all what I meant by that. So everyone, that's the lighting all basically set up. So I'm gonna peel this one off and get it ready once I actually get it onto the door because I wanna make sure it's in the perfect place around the actual box just over there. We're going to tap in to the live and earth, the main brown and red and green just over here. Brown's earth, the red and green is live. That's what we're gonna tap into for the connections. Now I'm using the T connectors, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. But there you go, you can see that I've connected up these just over here as well. So it should be fairly simple, but yeah, get this door done get the other door done and then we can start off with the rears and then the center console so when jumping into the back of the car right now i'm just going to get access to the rear one just over here incredibly tight to remove but let's get access to that rear cigarette lighter now to remove this guy from inside the car well actually the whole thing you got to pop this piece off once you've popped this off which you can do just by prising it open. Once you've prized it off, there'll be a little screw just in this area, which you can just undo. And you basically then have all the access to it or it's a 10 mil. You just gotta basically unscrew it and then you'll be able to slide the whole thing out. It's a little bit awkward. Um, kind of wish that it was a bit easier to find that screw, but that's how you do it. So I've gotten this door down, the other door down, that rear quarter panel. And I'm just about to do the last one, and I know I haven't filmed this part yet. So, in essence, door storage, uh, well, the, the storage light has just been drilled into here, and the light has just been drilled into here from the other side, so the fiber optic side. Now, pulling this apart, you all you gotta do is literally, just with trim removal, just take it underneath here, and you will be able to, in essence, remove that nicely. Make sure that you've got all of these points back on. Um, there's another one just underneath there. Um, you know, you wanna get all those back on because you're gonna need them shortly when it comes to putting it all back together. And with regards to the wiring for the rears, um, the cigarette lighter, I've just tapped into that, took two live and earths, one on each side, and that's where the the actual ambient lighting is going to be connected up to so i'm just going to plug all this back in and then give it all a little bit of a test run before i push it all back into place because as you guys know those rear core panels are real 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 pain to remove so i don't want to remove them again so it's a one and done i just want to test it out make sure it's all good and then we can go on our way so yeah <clears throat> let's jump into the car because we need to remove this trim panel to be able to get access to a little area there to do this so now this vent is supposed to also come out with it so got to get this all coming out together nice and easy make sure you take good care of this and we got to drill a small hole just over in this corner um, to be able to get the ambient light strip to go all the way across. Now this part I am a little bit nervous with. Luckily the owner has said that there's a couple of scratches already on it, which I guess makes my life a little bit less stressful. They've already kind of indicated that it's gonna be getting replaced, but removing this item is gonna be hard work because right, taking that part off is fairly easy and hopefully maybe i can just oh thank god Whew. i think i pressed something and it caused the car to come to life a little bit but man you know what removing that when the car is an automatic it's a lot harder so at least that was a little bit easier of a job doing it being that it is a manual you can just remove the other piece now how on earth am i supposed to see the clip for this i don't know if i remember correctly actually now i do actually have to remove this panel because it's not as easy to get out the bottom piece whilst this is in place my gosh okay that's a lot easier so we'll just move that out that's that panel all off 
and I haven't touched this at all which is actually really nice and comforting through here we have the cigarette lighter so just need to take off these 8mm bolts and we'll be able to get access to that so with the 8mm there we go lovely right and if I remember correctly so with that now moved move it somewhere safe and then just disconnect that now that that's done as well I can look at routing around the footwell lights and then we'll pretty much have everything installed that we need so let's put these guys somewhere safe what we've done here is with the wiring the two lives and earth for well the earth for all three lights going into the brown wire here the live the for two of them is going into the red and the final one the ignition the one with the fuse on it that's going into the gray that will turn on with the actual lighting of the car and what i've done here is is with regards to putting the footwell lights in you can just basically pull this a little bit and you can slide in the wires just in this gap just over here let me let me get the light for you if you all can see just in that gap that space where these wires are currently running through just there you can just prize this a little bit more when you're pull, pulling this apart and you can just basically get the you can get the footwell lights to run in down through there and along with that i've also sent the main light for this one over here which is just going through there underneath all the footwell area and stuff and back out over through here so that's kind of the the bulk of the hard stuff done i'm just going to connect everything back up give it all a quick test run again make sure everything's working and then i can start putting everything back together and then thankfully calling it a day and that is the car done ladies and gentlemen i'll be honest working on this car again this reminded me just how much hard work this car actually is it is definitely not one that you just want to tackle if you've not got some experience with working on cars it it will test you it will definitely test you but the car is all done and looking super clean so you can see the strips just below at the bottom there and just over here you can just about see the strips and as you can tell you can't see anything it's just like my other installs you just gotta try and make it look as seamless as possible but when you put the key in everything comes to life so let's open the windows Turn the lights off and have a quick look around because yeah i think it looks amazing as it does right now um, we'll get some pictures and stuff of it all completed looking all nice and fresh so you can just see how everything's come out it's a really nice place to sit we've got the rears done as well nice glow across the wall this looks really clean, really, really clean. All right, let's get some good footage. everyone i think this is a great time to end the video i just want to give a big shout out to the owner of the car who also is an owner of signature rally he hosts rallies and stuff with cars so if it's something that you're into definitely check it out and it's something that i might even look at doing sometime in the near future with the r32 i've just always wanted to do something like that but yeah if you've enjoyed the content please give it a thumbs up and hopefully you don't mind me doing a repeat of a previous install purely because i wanted to go through it 
in that extra detail for you all and because it's also a different look at the end of it and i hope to see you all returning in another video so make sure to subscribe hit that bell notification and give this video a thumbs up because those kind of things mean so much to me but for now everyone catch you later bye oh hey youtube uh recommend a couple of other nice videos for my viewers please thank you